clear to you they are programmable if you will so and we have set it up into two ways one to have this as our scanner to identify for us where the opportunities lie and Okay, something is my okay. We're having a little bit of a trade station problem. So just give me one second, I have to all right. So basically we enter everything based upon the rules and it will tell us exactly when do we need to buy or when do we need to sell and as you can see here all the stuff that i was telling you about the yen pairs all of them have been triggered that we need to initiate the dollar yen the euro yen this is from uh, november the 15th the euro yen from the 20th of november these are the prices where the trades have been initiated uh, the Swiss yen, the Aussie yen, and the CAD yen, and so, and these are the trades, and we these are the ones that we have been uh, taking. So, with that said, let's go now and start doing our planning session one pair at a time, and we will start again based upon what we have uh, done our homework. Our first would be the euro yen. And the Euro Yen, we have been long the Euro Yen. This is on our long term positions. These are uh, from 104.59. This is the chart for the Euro Yen. This was the entry here that uh, we took the trade. And as we are now, as we are at this point in time, we are now trading at 119.58. We identify, in one of our styles in trading, we identify what we call structural points and significant points. These are not your basic what so-called support and resistance we don't use as you can see on my chart we don't use any indicators we don't use any whatever we basically are 100 percent price action we also identify the chart structure and we also identify what we call the significant points and we highlight them with a line these are decision making points that means above this point we want to be buyers below this point we want to be sellers so the 11964 this is one of our significant points as you can see here going back this was the low of in february 2010 and once the prices did break below the 119.64, that here was the beginning of the bear market, if you will, in the Euro Yen. And you can see it came down. This is where it came back to test it. And this is again one of the typical price behavior confirmation this is when you have a break and it comes back to test the structure point then you have the beginning of the bear market move to the downside and that which bottomed in 2012 so the 11964 is a very important point for the euro yen and we expect that if the euro yen goes back up to the 119.64 to be tested and this is where we are right now 
because everybody historically they look at the one nineteen sixty four and they're selling it. And one of the ways to gauge the strength or the weakness of a significant point or a structural point is what happened before it and what happened after it. So right here what happened before it is it took us all the way up to one twenty three oh seven. When we broke above this, it took us to the 123. When it broke below it, here, it took us all the way from the 119, all the way down, following the pattern of a trend very nicely, all the way down to the 80 something level, around the 94 level. So we had about a thousand pip move from the 119.64. We sold off about a thousand pips, pretty much 45%. This thing lost 45% of its value. The euro lost 45% of its buying power versus the Japanese yen. Then look what happened right now. We are back up to that significant point, which is the 119.64. And it is such a big decisive point that has been that a lot of traders historically, the guys that sold it over here and made a thousand pips is now going to start playing the same game by attempting to sell it again at the same level on the hope that this thing is going to decline. Hearing also whatever Juncker was saying that oh, the, the euro is moving up higher too fast to whatever. So they are going to start shorting it. This is when he spoke. This two days was about 300 pips. That slide, the two-day slide, was actually 300 pips because we had it in the room. So from 120, let's say, to a low of 116.50. So you have about 350 pips slide as a reaction in two days. Then immediately, that market turned around. That is a typical price behavior approach. That is the market that is rallying on bad news. Therefore, we want to be looking at buying it. So right now we are at 119.50. The structural point is the 119.64. So for tomorrow, we are going, I'm going to put the, the, the time on the chart so we can uh, 119.64. I'm putting the value of the line here. So this is the 119.64 for us to buy it. And then I'm going to populate my radar screen so that we can pinpoint our entry. So we're going to buy for tomorrow. We're buying from above the 119.64. This is our going to be our long entry for tomorrow. It is also our structural long point because we traded below it. 119.64 and it will also be our long stop. Now most of you are saying okay the, the long point is 119.64 your structure long point is the 119.64 how come your stop is the 119.64. This is a technique that we apply so that we can remain consistent this means that this is a very powerful buy signal because your long point, your initial entry, and your structural long point is one and the same. So this is means that your stop has to be very tight, maybe around 20 pip, but we leave it this way so that we remain consistent. We are consistent in everything we do. So this way, just to show you what is the strongest it is a strong trade and we're going to stay long with that trade. On the short side, and we always try to identify a short entry, looking at this chart,
as you can see, I mean, this is, that's why I was telling them on Friday, happy days, because this was all the money that we're making on the uh, yen. So this is the pullback that happened today, pretty much, or yesterday. And the market is kind of moving sideways. So in essence, we're going to initiate a short, and this, this short should be very short-lived. So the red line would be a short. So below the 118.80 is going to be our short point. So we're going to short it below 118.80. Eight zero, and if I short it below one eighteen eight zero, I have a structural short point, which is the one seventeen seventy five from here, which has been already previously identified, and our stop is going to be if I go short here at one eighteen eighty, I'm going to place my stop right above the one nineteen twenty five. I'm going to show you why the one nineteen twenty five. The 119.25, this here is the one daily, this is the one daily uh, high, the one daily low. So if it comes above this one daily low, this thing means that the short is going to move higher. So for that, to summarize this, the plan for the Euro Yen, we're going to go long above the 119.64. This is our long point and our structure long point, and it will also be our stop. On the short side, we're going to go short below 118.80, and we have a structural short point below this, 100 pips away from our entry, which means if it breaks the 118, that will be the initial place where it pauses for a pause. And if I take it short below the 118, I'm going to use the 119.25 as my stop. Okay, so that is the Euro Yen. So let me save the recording. Uh, we are now at the